A round of applause. Yeah. One night will be Wednesday night. Always been there for me, telling me 
Glasses fall off his face, <laughs> or when they're kind of like on the tip of his nose and he's looking at you like this. <laughs> Tom's having a good day though today, you know. He um he played here a month ago for this night. I don't know if anyone was here yeah. for the Robbie Cavana night. Yeah. yeah. He left his hat. What oh, an idiot! <laughs> he left his hat and he's been sobbing about it ever since. <laughs> And then uh, he phoned up. Sobbing's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's been, um, he's phoned up, he sent an email and no one's found it. And then we walked through the door earlier and he came out with his hat on his head. <laughs> so he's found his hat. <laughs> 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 I'll not take it off because I'm going bald. So. <laughs> <laughs> Runs in the family. Yeah. And it, <laughs> oh. We're going to throw it back to the first release we ever. The first thing we ever released was an EP called One Step Closer. It's an old song of ours, but uh, we love doing it. Did 
think it was going to be this hot on the stage, I'm not going to lie. It's so one step closer. Bulldozing country soul. I got finishing ones. We like that. Yeah. I'm gonna have a t-shirt with that met on. <laughs> um, but uh, it's just nice to be here. Never played this gig before. Put your hand up if you've been before. Quite a few. Yeah. I'm not surprised. It's lovely. Very intimate. Getting sweated on. It's about on. Hopefully not. Not tonight. <laughs> nice pizza. <laughs> We're going to play a track now from um, my album, Girl from the North, um, that was recorded. It's kind of recorded just before lockdown, and then um, 
I was pregnant um, during lockdown, and um, me and Tom was my husband. It's this one. Don't worry if you get confused. I know which one's which. <laughs> but um, we were living in a one-bedroom apartment in Sheffield, um, awaiting the birth of our first child. And Tom thought it was a great idea to move the studio into the apartment, as well as all the baby stuff that we had. Uh, we had zero space, and I was getting bigger by the day. Um, and we somehow ended up finishing this album um, in this one bedroom flat in uh, Sheffield during lockdown. And then it was released about a year later, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Don't pretend that it was a good idea. I nearly had a nervous breakdown, but yeah. Number four country. Nine okay, yeah, that's, I forgot about that, yeah. Um, but um, <laughs> this is how small it was. So we, we when the baby arrived, um, because we, it was just, there was just so much stuff that everywhere, and it was just like, the studio was there, and it was like, oh, just dangerous stuff everywhere. We, we got this little playpen, and we had to sit inside the playpen to eat our tea. <laughs> 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 anyway, this is one um, that I wrote about reflecting on my sort of teens. Teen, teenagers have it tough, I think. It's a rough it's a rough time, but it's a great time. But uh, I think you worry about a lot of things that you don't need to worry about. And this is what that's about. It's called What's Troubling You, Child. When did you hang up your dancing shoes? You used to love the rhythm and blues What's troubling you, child? What's troubling you, child? What did you hang up the telephone? Tell that boy to leave you alone What's troubling you, child? What's troubling you, my child? You got songs in your pocket, you will rock. You got a rhythm of your sleeve, and it's tight. No one will raise your little voice up to the night. What's troubling you, child? What's troubling you, child? What's troubling you, child? Turned your back on your oldest friend Wrote her a letter that she never sent What's troubling you, my child? What's troubling you, my child? You don't fit in and you don't feel right Seems everybody wants to pick a fight What's troubling you, my child? What's troubling you, my child? You got songs in your pocket, you will rock. You got a rhythm up your sleeve, and it's tight. Go on, raise your little wish up to the night. What's troubling you, child? What's 
What's troubling you? What's troubling you? What's troubling you? What's troubling you? This is a this next one's another track from the album. It was the first single we released actually from Girl from the North. And um, like I said, we were in lockdown, so we had to think outside the box. And it was very convenient that um, six months earlier we had been to Nashville, and as we do, because we are crazy sometimes, we have these silly ideas. We went walking um, in these um, fields. Uh, we stumbled upon this um, like abandoned airport. Um, is, it, is it an airport? It, it is. Yeah, abandoned airport um, in Nashville. And um, we filmed me playing this song, uh, playing along to the track. And at the time we were just like, what are we doing? We did a bit slow-mo, trying to make it look good. We just thought, oh, we're just having a bit of a laugh. We went walking in the hills kind of scrapped all that footage. But um, during lockdown, we needed a music video for this and we managed to find this one take of me singing this song in, at this abandoned uh, runway um, in Nashville that Mark filmed, actually. He was in the zone, honestly. It was so hot. Me and Tom were like, I wanna go up a walk, it's too hot. <laughs> and Mark was like, one more take. No joke, it was, it was over 100 degrees. It was so hot, it was silly. I'm and the, so sweaty in this video. The very final shot, I just remember because I remember Mark doing it. I don't think this bit made it in, but all I remember seeing is like Mark, probably like a thousand metres away, <laughs> just like legging it with the gimbal <laughs> in 100 degrees. That's how committed he was to the cause. Yeah. Yes, give it up everybody, Mark Lewis. Thanks to him, we have a really great music video to this song. We also have another video of this song um, that we recorded at Bob Harris's house um, for the Under the Apple Tree sessions. It's one of the first times I ever performed this song. And it was a bit of a strange moment for me where I was thinking, I, don't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't write songs. And then I wrote this song and I played it and Bob said it was a great song. So it gave me a bit of a boost. It's called Stay Wake to Dream. And it's about seeing, trying to see those positive things amongst all the, the other stuff out there just kind of focusing on that and just yeah concentrating on that as much as you can just stay awake to dream Darker than night 
make sense on the way here. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a Yorkshire lass. <laughs> no. Broad Yorkshire accent. Never. Um, yeah, yeah, I am. Grew up in Rotherham. I live in Sheffield now, but uh, we've kind of moved around quite a bit, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Lived in Newcastle for five years, and then moved to Manchester, met Mark. Um, everyone thinks these two are related. <laughs> Even people that have known for like a few years just found out that they're not brothers. Um, but, uh, We're pretty much brothers. Though, right? Yeah, you're yeah. Pretty much. Um, but uh, yeah, we started working together in Manchester and we've been working together ever since. He's never got rid of us. <laughs> He's been trying, but. <laughs> um, these guys set up a new thing in lockdown called Northern Cowboy Films, um, which was an amazing thing. They're both obviously amazing musicians. Lost all our work in lockdown and we set up a filming company where they were live streaming shows over the internet, like huge shows, so some of them were like really high profile artists uh, and they've been doing it ever since, so I'm really proud of these guys. Oh. <laughs> well I was off having babies, <laughs> <laughs> which is also a big achievement. <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah but it's so nice to be playing music together <coughs> it's, it just feels good um but yeah we're talking about accents and i i was like i feel like the the jamaican accent has got all the similarities to the yorkshire accent i don't know why but i feel like that's true that is so true and um and then i was like and that's why i'm so inspired by bob marley i'm a massive bob marley fan and this song was inspired by bob marley this is called three wishes about making the world a better place. Go through the night 
Turn the electricity off and see what happens. Uh, bit of magic, bit of magic. And thanks, Justin. I know we complicated it a little bit doing that, but give it up for Justin on the sound, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. yeah, there's a little bit of electricity involved. <laughs> This is one to have a little bit of a bop too, if you fancy a bit of a bop. Do you fancy a bit of a bop? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one, made it onto BBC Radio 2 playlist. Woo! <laughs> but um, yeah, now it's on a couple of other playlists. You can hear it in Top Tiles. Yeah. Home Bargains. Woo! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Keep your ears peeled. I love it when people text me and say, I just heard you playing in home bargains. <laughs> love it. I love it. I love it. Speaking, but, uh, of, speaking of Tesco's, how good is a Tesco's meal deal? <laughs> Quality. We play a little game where we see who can get the most off, if you know what I mean. So you can get like a smoothie that's like three quid. You get a sandwich that's like five quid. How much can you save in your meal deal? It's just it's endless. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, if you want to dance, this is your chance, all right? <laughs> So 
<laughs> Give it up for Harriet Rose, everybody. She's amazing, isn't she? She's so great. So great. Oh, you've got a bell. Nick McCacko. Nick McCacko. This is another older one of ours, but uh, I love singing this one. It's called The Waiting Game. We're all waiting for something, aren't we? Yeah. Thank you so much to everyone that put requests in, by the way. I sent a little message out saying if anyone's got any requests. And uh, I think we're managing to do pretty much all of them. So, yeah, cheers for requesting this one. Is it Andy? Is it Andy that requested this one? Yeah.
too much, we're running out of time. Ah! It's good to talk, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah we've written loads of songs, but the three of us, the magic number three. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we love this song. It's called High Time. I hope you enjoy it. Come and see us again, and uh, yeah, stay in touch. We'll see you soon. Just think, pretty good odds. Mark's written one song and won one reward. So, <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good going. That's 100% hit. Quit while you're ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. If you know it, please sing along. <laughs>
Days are getting harder <laughs> Mornings are the worst I wish you would find me Will I you it hurts so Last a lifetime Years go by so fast See you in my future Forgetting the past And he will It's nice up to now, but uh, <laughs> want to hear you. Ooh, another old one of ours. 
It's a feel good one. It's about friendship. Yeah. Look at some of that friendship. We are revitalizing this song. Oh yeah. In a minute, I'm gonna be over there selling some t-shirts, signing some CDs. Tom's in my ear going, because I always forget. Just two in the moment with you. We've got two kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got to pay for his petrol. <laughs> this is called All You Need Is A Friend. Years and years of waiting for something. No time for resting when all you do is sleep. Plenty of chance. Conversation, but you're talking to yourself that the company you keep. Sorry. <laughs> I said we've not played it in a while. Come on, guys. Sorry. Is that my song? <laughs> round and round in circles, barely conscious, rolling with the flow of a never. Tears and fears have taken the good time when all that you achieve is the guarantee to fail. Sometimes all you need is a friend who will love you and care for you, be there for you to be there. To do some singing, give it one more time. Yeah. 
yourself a round of applause. Thank you so much for having us. See you again. Cheers.